video you're about to see outlines a unique challenge posed to Canon by Ivo Nuremberg to produce a long zoom 4K super 35mm lens tailored to the diverse needs of wildlife video production. The specifications were determined by the desire to fully frame a subject 4 to 5 feet in height, many wild animals, from a distance of 300 to 350 feet. Simple calculations show that a 1,000mm focal length is required to achieve this framing on a super 35mm image sensor. But a wide angle was also sought that could image great outdoor vistas, and that ultimately determined a 50mm wide setting. This, in turn, defined a 20 to 1 zoom range. We were strongly urged to make the lens compact and lightweight, no more than 15 pounds and no longer than 16 inches. Last but not least was the need for an integrated high-speed precision servo drive unit for zoom, iris and focus. The challenge was accepted and Mr. Nuremberg will now review the results. At some point the wildlife film business changed from the two third inch cameras to the super 35 um, sense of cameras, whereas the image quality, especially the dynamic range, is, is so much better. But there were not a single uh, long lens available on, on the market. They all ended by three or four hundred millimeter. So I was looking for a lens manufacturer who can build my or our wildlife film dream lens. So far, the option was only to use prime lenses, but then you are too slow. Right? In wildlife film, we have no time to change lenses, or you will miss a scene. Everything happens only once in wildlife, and everything happens super fast, so you don't have time to change lenses. So it's also not really an option. Or you have to use uh, the old, like the Canon 18 times with an adapter, but then you are losing focus, uh, the image is not as sharp, especially in the corners and wide angle. And you're also losing uh, two and a half uh, f-stops with, with the adapter and we're often shooting in very low light conditions, very early morning or late evening. So we need as much light as possible. I was shooting in the really northern Arctic of Canada, about 1,000 kilometers away from the North Pole. And uh, I was shooting the wolves in the summer and the second time in the winter. And in the winter we had up to minus 40 degrees and it really the lens performed very well. No issues with focusing or lens or, or really perfect. We stayed two months in the field and after some time the wolves get really more and more comfortable with us. So after some weeks we could get closer and closer and finally we were really able to get really nice close shots even from the from the cups, really head shots from the adults, really only the two eyes or the paws and could get really, really nice, very sharp close up, see every hair from the fur, which looks very impressive. My favorite pictures are actually um, the wide shots, where you see this vast cinematic landscape and still see the details of the small moving wolves. These are finally my favorite shots. In the final film, we have uh, one very, very long zoom, where we really were zooming from wide as possible to the really close up. We have one shot where the wolf mother is coming from far distance and then uh, approaching the wolf den and the cubs are coming out just when she approaches there. And there we used really the, the whole zoom range. As in my opinion, we needed for wildlife. I was missing more a bit wider shots than the extreme tele shots. Now I am able to make these really wide zoom shots without compromising on quality what we had to do before. It is really also important to have a short lens to just reach the focus ring with your hand. If your lens is too long, you have your focus in here and you're zooming here, which is very, very un uncomfortable. And with some, some animals, if, if they hunt, they move very, very fast. So you have to be able to do whatever 90 degree pens in a very short time. So it's very important to also have a very compact setup. When I had the idea 
to make this lens. I also asked all my colleagues, also from England, from the BBC, and really tried to find the ideal you know, technical specifications, measurements, weights, and everything, and zoom range, what is ideal, especially for our wildlife film purpose. And Canon really matched 100% my uh, specifications and, and my ideas. At the outset, it seemed totally impossible to achieve that high 4K optical performance in a 20 to 1 zoom range, primarily because of the severe size and weight constraints. But this ignited a passionate quest to achieve what seemed impossible. Design teams became closely united in a protracted series of detailed design reviews that painstakingly explored all possible options to reconciling an overall design. The most challenging project ever undertaken by the Canon optical design team ultimately produced this amazing design achievement. The resulting lens combines high 4K optical performance across the image plane, minimized chromatic aberration with fast and precise control over zoom and focus speeds. It weighs 14.5 pounds, is 15.9 inches in length. And oh, did we tell you that a 1.5 built-in range extender was also included that supports 1500 millimeters for those very special shots. Thanks to Canon's outstanding lens design heritage, we could bring this unique lens to life.